The year 2018 was marked by continued job creation in Clark County as companies added workers in the county and the surrounding region. Unemployment rate. The unemployment rate in Clark County remained at a low 3.8% annual rate for the second year in a row. The county recorded its lowest unemployment rate of 3.3% in April. On an annual basis, in the last eight years, the unemployment rate has fallen from a high of 10.4% in 2011 to 3.8% in 2017. Clark County employment has continued to improve as well. For the first time in seven years, employment in Clark County topped 9,500 workers. Helping lead the job growth is the county's manufacturing base, Georgia Pacific, Danfoss, Drumco, Seaplast, Alcoa, Alumacraft Boats, Hitco Carbon Composites, and the area's timber industry have all seen positive growth. Sales Tax Revenue Revenue from the half-cent county sales tax for economic development generated more than $1.6 million for the first time. Shandong Sun Paper in 2017, Shandong Sun Paper announced it was changing products for the Gum Springs Mill. Sun Paper Chairman Li Hong Jin decided the plant should produce liner board, which is one of two types of paper that make up corrugated boxes. The change increased the company's investment to $1.8 billion and added 100 additional jobs. The change also meant new engineers would be needed to design the liner board mill. New equipment would need to be purchased and new environmental consultants hired to resubmit state and federal permits. Aware that the change would add to the timeline for a new mill, Sunpaper executives got to work. A team from China spent 10 days this past summer at Iron Mountain Lodge interviewing engineers, equipment suppliers, and environmental consultants. Experts from around the world came to DeGray Lake to meet with the Sun Paper team. Equipment suppliers and Ritz of Germany, Voith of Austria, and Valmet of Finland visited. Two U.S. engineering firms and one from China interviewed for the opportunity to design the mill. Wood PLC of Atlanta, Georgia was selected. Environmental consultants were also interviewed and an Arkansas company, HSG Environmental Consultants of Bryant, Arkansas, was hired to work on the air permit. Arkadelphia city engineer Stuart Nolan was hired by Sunpaper to update water and sewer permits to reflect the change to liner board. Mike Preston, executive director of the Arkansas Economic Development Commission, traveled to China in 2018 to personally visit with Chairman Lee to keep the project on schedule. The air permit application has now been submitted to the Arkansas Department of Environmental Quality for approval by the Environmental Protection Agency. Final approval of the air permit is expected late this summer, which would clear the way for Sun Paper to begin dirt work on their site. The Washita River Bridge The Arkansas Department of Transportation completed construction of a new bridge over the Washita River, and the bridge opened in May. The bridge cost $16 million and took three years to complete. State Highway 53 the Arkansas Department of Transportation is working to resurface Arkansas Highway 53 between Hollywood and Gurdon. Once the work is complete, the department will be able to lift the weight restrictions and allow log trucks to use the highway. That is expected to reduce log truck traffic through Arkadelphia by 25%. The Arkansas Department of Transportation also completed upgrades to Arkansas Highway 51 west of Arkadelphia as well. The work includes the widening of some shoulders and a new overlay. Industrial Park Rail Spur The Southwest Arkansas Regional Intermodal Authority recently completed a $1.3 million rail bed for the planned rail spur in the Clark County Industrial Park. This represents the first phase of what will eventually be a $16 million rail spur. The rail spur will serve both the new Sun Paper Mill, but also a public transload facility open to other industry in the area who want rail access. Arkadelphia Bypass Earlier this month, the Arkansas Department of Transportation held its first public meeting in Arkadelphia to begin work on a truck bypass. The public was invited to view various proposed plans for a bypass. The bypass will divert truck traffic from Pine Street and make it easier for log trucks to travel through downtown. A bypass for Arkadelphia has been a long desired project for the community, and the Arkansas Department of Transportation has formally included the bypass in its list of projects that make up the department's state highway plan. Economic Development Events Alliance staff members Stephen Bell and Shelley Lowe attended several economic development events this past year, including Arkansas State Chamber of Commerce Annual Meeting, Arkansas Economic Developers and Chamber Executives Annual Conference, 
Arkansas State Chamber of Commerce legislative reception with state lawmakers. Southern Economic Development Council meet the consultants event in Dallas. Arkadelphia also hosted Chad Phillips of Navigator Consulting, an industrial site selection and relocation company. Phillips learned about the community and its industries during his one-day visit. The visit to Arkadelphia was sponsored by the Metro Little Rock Alliance. Tour of Green Bay Packaging A tour of the Green Bay Packaging Plant in Moralton was held in May. A group from Clark County toured the liner board mill to get a sense of what to expect from the future Sun paper mill. The group reported no odor from the liner board mill and everyone in the group was impressed by the size and automation of the Moralton mill. Education When it comes to higher education, it's simple. Our universities are growing. Henderson State University Henderson State University experienced a year of record enrollment in 2018. Dr. Glenn Jones Jr. reported that enrollment at Henderson State University for the fall semester was up 38% from last year. Henderson had a record enrollment of its freshman class and record enrollment for its graduate school. Students from Texas increased 18% and the retention of students in the sophomore class increased 7%. The freshman class is more academically prepared with the highest GPA and some of the best ACT scores ever at Henderson. Enrollment in the aviation school doubled and the school added a drone program. The engineering program, sports management program, and the Master of Science in Nursing helped push up enrollment. Dr. Brandy Benton, Associate Provost for Enrollment Services and Admissions, credited a collaborative effort across the campus for the large freshman class. The increase in enrollment also led to more students taking advantage of campus housing. Current figures show 1,680 living on campus this year, compared to 1,454 in 2017. The most popular declared freshman majors are biology, health sciences, business administration, and aviation. Graduate school enrollment also increased to a record 559 from 497 in 2017, bringing total undergraduate and graduate enrollment to 3,568, compared to 3,336 in 2017. Nursing program. Henderson State University is offering two new online graduate degrees in nursing. The Arkansas Higher Education Coordinating Board approved both the Masters of Science in Nursing Administration and the Family Nurse Practitioner programs. The Nursing Administration program will prepare nurses as advanced practice registered nurses in the role of nurse administrator. The Family Nurse Practitioner program will prepare nurses to be primary care providers. They can also earn a postgraduate nurse educator certificate. Both programs will prepare students to lead change and coordinate care in complex healthcare systems and will provide a foundation for doctoral study. Engineering Program The HSU Engineering Department will graduate its first engineering students in December. The department has applied for accreditation. Universities must first graduate students before they can receive accreditation. HSU students are already working in engineering-related fields at companies in Arkansas, like Danfoss, Caterpillar, and ATEC. HSU would like to partner with local companies so engineering students can conduct student projects for graduation. HSU will receive a general engineering degree. HSU plans to work with the Arkadelphia Regional Economic Development Alliance to approach local companies about student projects and internships for the HSU students. Dancing with the Stars you never know where Henderson State University graduates will show up. In 2018, Bobby Bones, a Henderson State graduate who hosts the biggest country morning show in the United States, won the latest Dancing with the Stars competition. Bones got his start in radio at Henderson's KSWH. His popular program originates from WSIX in Nashville, Tennessee, and can be heard on nearly 100 country radio stations nationwide by millions of listeners. Washita Baptist University Washita Baptist University set a retention record and saw enrollment increases in 2018. Washita began the fall semester with a record freshman to sophomore retention rate of 83.4% and student enrollment of 1,660, an increase of more than 7% from a year ago. We are pleased that students are choosing to further their education at Washita and remain here, said Dr. Ben Sells, president of Washita Baptist University. Higher retention represents higher student satisfaction and leads to higher graduation and placement rates. 
The undergraduate residential program includes a significant increase in out-of-state students of 18%. Our success in attracting out-of-state students is a complement to Washita and demonstrates the growing reputation of our university, Sell said. There were 472 new students, including freshmen and transfers, in 2018. Of new freshmen, 43% had high school grade point averages of 3.9 or higher. Washita sets fundraising record. Washita received a record $17.2 million in private support for the academic year 2017-2018. The fundraising total surpasses the previous record set in 2005-2006 by almost $1 million. We are fortunate to work with alumni, friends, and churches who believe in and give so generously in support of the mission and vision of Washita, said Dr. Ben Sells, President. Our donors appreciate our success in developing leaders in so many walks of life and extend our impact around the world. Washita and Baptist Health partner to provide nursing education. The university also began offering a Bachelor of Science degree in nursing this fall. Washita Baptist University and Baptist Health announced a partnership in 2018 to address the shortage of nurses in the state and region. Washita recently received approval to offer a Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree. The inaugural class began in the 2018 fall semester with 23 students. Washita reports 99% placement rate. Washita announced in January that 99% of the recent graduating class are employed in some capacity or furthering their education. That number exceeds the national average for colleges and universities by 15%. The results are based on Washita's senior survey. Washita Baptist receives $1 million unrestricted gift. For the second consecutive year, Washita Baptist University in Arkadelphia has received an unrestricted $1 million gift from an anonymous donor. The gift is significant for its size and nature as well as its impact, said Dr. Ben Sells, Washita President. The contribution supports the President's Innovation Fund that is focused on advancing the university's new strategic plan, which includes new academic programs. Barry Bible Building This summer, workers completed a $2 million renovation of the Barry Bible Building and the addition of the Horn Center for Biblical Preaching. A dedication ceremony was held to celebrate the expansion of an important part of the Washita campus. Cluck Hillside Apartments Washita Baptist University expanded on-campus housing in 2018 with the newly renovated Clock Hill Site Apartments. The 16 apartment units offer some of the best housing accommodations on campus and have been a hit with students. The apartments are named after Dr. Wesley and Debbie Clock, whose generous donation helped make Clock Hill Site Apartments a reality. $800,000 gift provides artificial turf. Washita Baptist University received an $800,000 gift from Little Rock attorney Tom Thrash that will fully fund the installation of artificial turf at Cliff Harris Stadium. The turf will be ready by the 2019 Washita football season in September. Leadership Clark County Class 8 of Leadership Clark County began in January 2019 with 24 participants. Leadership Clark County was established by the Arkadelphia Regional Economic Development Alliance and Area Chamber of Commerce pursuant to one of the goals of the Clark County Strategic Plan. The program was designed with the belief that future leadership is critical to furthering the economic growth of our community. Arkadelphia Area Chamber of Commerce The Arkadelphia Area Chamber of Commerce held several ribbon-cutting ceremonies to welcome new businesses and celebrate expansions in 2018. Topping out ceremony, Citizens Bank, Ozark Cleaners, Positively Chic, Local Wine and Spirits, Arkadelphia Tire and Outfitters, The Handy Geek, Hughes and Hughes Law Firm, Kate Rose Birthday and Events, The Urban Jungle, First National Title Company Open House, Southwest Auto Collection, Central Park Revitalization, Sunrise Rotary Club, The Farmhouse, Little Caesars Pizza, Citizens Bank Grand Opening, Turnkey Nutrition, the UPS Store, First Fitness Nutrition, Daylin's Baker, Samantha's Sweets, Business After Hours. The Arkadelphia Area Chamber of Commerce hosted a networking event in 2018 through its Business After Hours. Bank of the Ozarks, Christmas with Santa Business After Hours has become a holiday tradition. Meet the candidates, meet, greet, and eat. The Chamber hosted a reception featuring all the candidates on the Clark County ballot. The public had a chance to hear from each of the candidates and meet them in person. Town hall meetings, 
The chamber hosted two town hall meetings featuring Arkansas House members Richard Womack and Justin Gonzalez, and Arkansas Senators Bruce Malik and Larry Teague. The public had an opportunity to hear from their state lawmakers and ask questions. Community Beautification Award New this year was the Chamber's Community Beautification Award, given to a business who enhanced the outside appearance of the property. Recipients included Apex Insurance Consultants, Golden Walk, and Rotary Club of Arkadelphia, Gurdon Chamber of Commerce. The Gurdon Chamber of Commerce held several ribbon-cutting ceremonies to welcome new businesses and celebrate expansions in 2018. Groundbreaking for Southern Bancorp, Gurdon Light Parking Area, All Care Pharmacy. The City of Gurdon was recognized with the Four Star Municipality Award from the Arkansas Municipal League for Community Excellence. City of Caddo Valley The Caddo Valley Chamber of Commerce held a ribbon-cutting ceremony to welcome a new business in 2018. New city sidewalks along U.S. Highway 67. Caddo Valley held an event to mark the start of construction of a new sidewalk along U.S. Highway 67. The sidewalk will go from Cracker Barrel to Waffle House on both sides of the highway.